Now, uh, we can go and get into a question from our Ask Us Anything segment on CDAR. Uh, Terry asks us, any chance of explaining how to use the CDAR website? It is very difficult to use uh, that site for the average person. Well, it's a great question, Terry. Uh, CDAR can be tough to nav- navigate and is set up generally terribly for the average investor. In fact, we answered a question on this in video format in our June DIY Investor Seminar. Uh, You can access the full version, uh, which details how to look at any hot stock tip you may receive and categorize it as either pure speculation or potentially investment worthy by using CDAR. But I'm going to give you the Coles Notes version today of how to use CDAR, how to navigate through that. First off, for those that don't know, and, and we excuse you, you, you shouldn't really know what CDAR is. What is CDAR or S-E-D-A-R? It is a system for electronic document analysis and retrieval. You can see why we needed an acronym for this. Um, CDAR is a mandatory document filing and retrieval system for Canadian public companies or stocks. Uh, It is administered by the Canadian Securities Administrators, a coordinating body comprised of 13 Canadian provincial and territorial securities commissions. It is operated on those on behalf of these institutions by the Alberta Securities Commission, and it has been since 2014. Filing with CDAR started on January 1st, 1997. Today, all Canadian public companies are required to file their documents into the CDAR system. Here on CDAR, what do you find? You find all companies' annual and quarterly statements, institutional holdings, and many other forms they have to file. So how do you navigate it? Well, you can find CDAR at www.cedar.com. Just Google CDAR. This will bring you to the site's homepage. And Terry, you are correct. It is ugly as sin and about as easy to navigate as a Costco on a Saturday, but it'll have to do for our purposes. Now, click to start off, click on the search database link and navigate to the search company documents link. Click that. Now, if you're armed with the name of a stock you are seeking information on, type it into the company name field then hit search. Here you you will find documents on the company you search for. Now the layout gets a little bit silly here. To find the company's latest or most recent documents, you need to click on the linked company names, one of those linked company names under the company name heading, uh, and you are brought to another uh, page with the address and contact info for this individual stock you're looking up. Here you click on the view public companies or view companies documents link and it'll bring up the latest documents in order. Now we would suggest clicking and reading the latest quarterly MDNA or management discussion and analysis document for the latest quarterly info. You can also look at the latest interim financial statements report for a quick look at the income statement, the cash flow statement and the balance sheet. You'll also find all press releases here uh, and for some bedtime reading because it will likely put you to sleep. You can check out the uh, latest annual report. I hope that helps you navigate CDAR, a useful but very awkward tool for looking at all documents filed by every public company in Canada.